Hey guys, Sean Zak here for Golf.com. Uh, in Japan at the Olympics, figured I would show you what it is like for a day in the life here covering the Olympics in Japan. First things first, you can see this was one of the tiniest rooms I've stayed at in my entire life. There's no reason to stay here, it's time to go. All right, so this pandemic Olympics, everyone is masked up. There's restrictions everywhere. Your credential is your golden ticket. But you can only go to specifically approved locations. Like I can only go to my hotel, the main media center, and the golf course. That's it. So each morning I check out the photo on the front of the local newspaper just to kind of see what Japanese people care about. Uh, and I sign out with the local security staff that have been brought in exclusively for the games. I get walked to the bus stop by another member of the hotel staff where a specific Olympic shuttle takes me through town. Now, even though I can't go places and see things on foot, driving through town every single day is actually a pretty great way to see the city. From afar, you get a nice little look at the Olympic Village. You got Tommy Fleetwood staying there, a number of golfers staying there. So I ride one shuttle bus about 25 minutes all the way over to the main shuttle lot jump into another shuttle bus that takes me to the golf course. This bus system is truly incredible. The shuttles are flying everywhere. The Wi-Fi network on all of them is named Sushi 2020, which I think is pretty hilarious. The best part is I'm often riding the bus all by myself. Kind of awesome. Now, arriving at Kasumi Gaseki Country Club about 90 minutes later, there are heavy security standards, which is what happens with the COVID Olympics, but no fans on site, so it's pretty easy to get through. Finally, I arrive at the media center some two hours after I left my hotel room, just in time for a delightful little breakfast of apple, banana, and teriyaki burger. These teriyaki burgers are actually really, really good. I'm having two or three every single day, but frankly, it's all that my little soft stomach can muster. I don't want anything to do with that fish sausage. No thanks. Now the beauty of covering the Olympics is that it's not all just about first place. If two Americans are vying for the gold, there's still somebody in some country vying for the bronze. I think we're going to see a playoff for a medal this year, which will be really cool. Maybe it'll involve Japan's native son, Hideki Matsuyama. Even without fans, it looks and feels like an Olympics. You've got 42 different countries competing, so you've got 42 different flags flying near the clubhouse. When I paused to point out the American flag and say, we are number one, I didn't realize that Mexico's Gabby Lopez was trying to take a photo with the rings in the background. Sorry, Gabby. But that's what everyone's been doing out at the course. The Olympic rings are sprinkled everywhere on the golf course. They are a hot photo opportunity. Everyone needs that Instagram post. That's what the Olympics are all about. The course, as you may hear, is in pristine shape. It's very flat, which means it's a great walking course for media like myself. On Wednesday, I got out to watch Team USA a little bit and the man that everyone has an eye on, Rory McIlroy. He hit it to about three inches as I was walking up by the 18th green. I think he made the putt, but Go in. I didn't stick around to find out. Woo. Back in the media center, there's time for the all important press conferences and even more important, dessert. We call it writing fuel. And the Japanese folks have taken care of us and gone so far as to show us exactly how to add the ice cream to the apple pie, as if I didn't have a lot of experience in this regard. With all the other sports taking place during the day, it's actually kind of easy to get distracted by sand volleyball or baseball, wherever is on the TV screen. But after a long day of writing, Eventually, it's back to the same shuttle system. Two more hours to get back to my hotel, back to Tokyo as the sun sets, signing back in to my hotel, and eventually back to the same elevator. Thankfully, this time I've got Uber Eats in hand.